So you want to dynamically change the background and the size of a button, or maybe you want to dynamically change a theme or the background of your website. Well, with Angular, you can achieve that using ng-style and ng-class. Let's take a closer look of how you can use ng-style in your projects. Since ng-style is an element directive, we can add it to a button and we can pass in a JavaScript object with key value pairs. So the key would be the style name, and there's an additional option you can add here with a dot .unit suffix. That can be pixels, ems, or any other unit, for example. And after comes the value of our style. Now let's make this button a bit more fun. How about on every click, we will change the background color to a random color, and we will change the width and the height to some random values. First, we create a default style for the button. Then we can create a my random button property and our colors array. These will be the available colors for the background of the button. Next, we need a random number generator. So we can go ahead and make a get random number method that will take a minimum and a maximum value and it will return to us a random number between a given range. And we can use here math.random since we don't want to have decimals in our numbers. Next, we will create our get random colors and size method and we will set my random button property to equal to this new JavaScript object. So for the background color, we can randomly choose a color from our array and for our width and height, here we're going to use the dot .unit suffix with pixels. Now we can just add our property and our click event to the button and we can run the application. As you can see, every time we click the button, we get a new color and a new size for our button. Now let's take a look at the ng-class directive. Ng class is similar to ng style and we can use it in three ways. We can pass a string, this will be as our normal classes in our HTML. We can pass an array, this is basically an array element of classes. And we can pass JavaScript object with key value pairs where the value has to be true for the class to be added, otherwise the class will be removed. Let's see an example now of how we can add or remove a class that will make the text yellow on a click of a button. I already made the class here with the color of yellow and when we click the button we want to change the show yellow text property to true or false. So this will then either add or remove the class from the DOM. Now as we click the button you can see right here in the DOM that the class is being added or removed. So that is how we dynamically change classes and CSS properties in Angular. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one.